What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the Pro Day Sports Performance Training Podcast. We've got a great one for you today. We are actually here with a guest. Most of you probably know this guest. It is Ryan Nelson. What's up, Ryan? What's up, guys? So, all of you know Ryan. Some of you know Ryan as Ryan, and others know him a little bit better and know that Ryan is a former Marine. So, we're going to be talking in this whole podcast about what Pro Day is doing, what Ryan is doing through TAC Moto HQ, Tactical Motivation Headquarters, and how we're mixing those things together to come and give to the veteran, former, current, and future military personnel. So Ryan, talk a little bit now about what it is we've started doing at Pro Day to accommodate to this part of our society. So we have started doing military classes. Uh, We do active duty military veterans and any uh, new military people who are, you know, currently talking to the recruiters, um, getting ready to either either have signed up and are going or you know have a a ship out date Uh or are you know currently in talks with a recruiter and things like that to get them ready for boot camp. For sure. So it it, really all aspects of military. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, Let's yeah. break it down on stage by stage on that. Boot camp. How hard is boot camp whenever you went in? Boot camp it? sucked. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of the whole version of it. It's hard. So, you know, I was I was an athlete growing up. I played sports. You know, I, I always did things. You know, I was very active. So yeah. I kind of, and I actually signed up to be in the Marine Corps my the beginning of my senior year. So I went through my whole high school, senior year of high school as a poolie is what they call okay. somebody who signed up and gone in yet. So I did school and then every weekend I went and trained and did all that stuff with the military. So I did that whole year's worth of being a poolie before I actually went in. Um, and yeah, yeah, I mean, that was so, kind of how I started that. Yeah. Lots of work to get. Ready yeah. It's, it, it was, it was, I thought I was ready. You know, like when, uh-huh. when I went to boot camp, I'm like, okay, I'm in sports. I've done a year of the poolie training. I'm going to go. And I went And I did awful because what I didn't think about was, you know, I just trained for what it was not to be better than like, this is, this is what it is. What you don't realize is that when you go in, you don't, you're not taking your first PFT full of food and sleep and just as raring and ready to go as possible. You're tired. You haven't slept in three days. I'm like, okay, let's go do it and see how you perform. And you do crappy because you trained for this specifically not to be better than that and that is a lot of things that people don't think about for sure definitely not a lot of times do train for like oh this is what i need to do rather than oh i need to be even more ready for this because who knows (laughs) and that's like i obviously haven't been through boot camp but the thing that i've kind of noticed is you don't know what's coming next it's pretty much up to whoever's running the show (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) yeah absolutely cool so next stage we'll move to current military personnel redeployment, all that kind of stuff. Or you're already in, you've been through boot camp, you're about to get deployed. So that's the other market we're trying to serve with this. Yeah, we have, uh, There's especially in the Tulsa area, there's lots of, you know, some active duty, but lots of reservists and things like that. Yeah. So uh, we've got uh, reservists in, in the class currently. We just started this last week. Um, and they, you know, are doing either... Um, they're kind of active duty reservists where they go in regularly and everything like that, where they just do the, you know, one week in a month type stuff. Um, so they can come in and they can train so that when they go to do that one weekend or whatever it is that they're doing, Mm -hmm. they don't, they don't fall off because they don't necessarily have, you know, they've got full-time jobs or whatever and things like that. So getting, you know, out and being able to do the the training that you need for that sometimes is difficult and expensive yeah definitely so now we have like the crazy eager haven't been in the military yet about to go in we have the current very in it know what to expect and then we have the former so with the former you kind of go from eager take on the world to like a sense of community a sense of knowing what it's all about. And so that's yeah. where we get into the veterans, which the veteran community is massive and yeah. it's underserved for what is very. put into it. It's very underserved. And so talk about how, what we're doing is trying to build the community and build all that stuff. Yeah. So <clears throat> you, when you go out as a veteran or military, you know, active duty military or somebody going in, the uh, communities are very separate. Um, you, you, when I was going in, even though my stepdad, who you know helped me kind of walk the path of getting into the Marine Corps, who he was a Marine, yeah. um, 
I didn't know really anybody. I didn't have access to veterans per se, or mm-hmm. people. I definitely didn't have access to people in the military um, that could give me, you know, those uh, insights to maybe what I wanted to do, how to work, you know, the initial sign up so you don't get, you know, taken as a fool and kind yeah. of like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna do whatever. And then you end up hating your life in the military. Yeah. Um, which I got lucky. I didn't, but. Um, you know, it, it, you don't have the access. Even the veterans don't really have access to new guys. The veterans don't have access to um, the guys fresh out. A lot of the guys who are fresh out, who just got out of the military, mm-hmm. um, they don't have access. You know, they have a couple of friends, but they don't have access to anybody who's currently in or other like-minded people. Them, it's it's very difficult to because those aren't intertwined. Yeah. So what I want to do is build that community through. Uh, athleticism through athletics and things of that nature so everybody comes into this class of all deal it ties them all together there and then they can we can start that bonding of the old guys come and work with the new guys are fresh yeah. out the guys who are fresh out and are still super moto but you know they kind of it's it's a, the transition's hard for the, for a lot of people and um being around those like-minded people and also being able for them to work with the new guys and motivate them going in, makes them feel proud yeah. and things of that nature, as well as hooking up with the old guys to kind of like get in, you know, where they're going and they're a veteran now, things of that nature. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm really just bringing everybody together. Yeah. It bridges that gap between all future, current, and former. And on top of that, bringing in all of the veterans together because, I mean, there's a lot of veteran organizations, veteran run mm-hmm. organizations, which is fantastic. Yeah. But by creating those, you drop a, we talked to the guy today and he said, you're either going to be average or above average in terms of success once yeah. you're out of the military or you're way, way, way yeah, below there's a average. Big disparity in, in those levels. For sure. And by creating something like what we're trying to do, which is the, the cheapest training we can offer in order to get people in that gives them the quality that they need, which mm-hmm. gives them the community that they need. It's going to help to bridge that gap because that person that's well below average is going to meet the above average. And then we can build community relationships and all that. Yeah. Um, there's a statistic out there that shows that simply um, active duty military, that when they come out, by simply being tied in to the the VA, mm-hmm. just they're not even you know getting disability or anything, but just being tied into the community, being and signed up and in the system decreases veteran suicide by seventy percent. Jeez. So um, just even even if they're not active, yeah. just simply knowing of its its existence yeah. and that there is somewhere to go decreases it by seventy percent. That's crazy. And so. W- as opposed to just having veterans with veterans and they hook up, which is great. I mean, there's not absolutely nothing wrong with For that. Sure. But um, you kind of get in a sounding board and everybody helps and it's super helpful. There's nothing bad about it. But I know as a veteran, one of my favorite things to do is to, is to you know, help guys who just come out. You know, yeah. talk to them, whatever, because sometimes they need support. You know, being you get moto and you get hard charging and you have this way of thinking and you come out and you don't have that anymore. It's, it's, it's hard. Yeah. Um, and then also being able to, to coach those new guys uh-huh. is is awesome. It, it, it's just a lot of fun. It's just like with Pro Day, being able to teach youth athletics and yeah. train people. Yeah. It's, it's an amazing feeling. And so being able to do that in the military, it, it's just it's not there. I've been uh-huh. and done veteran stuff before. Uh, but it's all just vets, yeah. and, or got some guys fresh out, you know, that they've coming into the veteran community. So I'm I'm looking forward to really bridging those gaps that haven't, that just aren't out there, really. Yeah, I mean, those are gonna help all together. Like seeing these guys going in as a veteran, I imagine, because this is how it is for me as an athlete. I see like their motivation. I see that, and it's like, oh, now I remember why I did this. Exactly. I remember all the stuff behind this, and kind of helps you. Whereas justification might be tough sometimes mm-hmm. in the darkest times, and that gives you that oh yeah okay cool that like that was me that was me. and you can go have an effect on that person Absolutely. you can have an effect on the community around us so it's it's crazy because it's like okay this is like a step for pro day because we want to involve this and then you want to build this community through mm-hmm. Takmoto which is going to be everything under the sun and it starts yeah. with okay what we're doing at pro day is running a military class mm-hmm. which our military class is at 9 a.m. on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. It is $5 a time. If it's your first time, it's free. If you bring somebody for their first time, it's free for you to come that time. So 
really our whole goal is how do we get people in? Yeah. Like you're not signing up to long-term contracts, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. It's like, we just want you there because we want to build that community. We want to sweat. We want to hurt. Yeah. We want to ache and then leave. Embrace the suck. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and then fresh perspective on the day, build the community and then it's endless. Possibilities are endless. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of things. I got lots of stuff in, in the pipe that I want to do, but first and foremost is building the community. Once you, once you do that, and bring everybody together. Everything kind of fall, you know, just kind of falls in place. Then you can do events and, and, and just kind of create everything with that community. And I yeah. think a lot of things that I haven't even thought of are going to come out of that when you really start combining the new heads and the old heads uh-huh. and, and all that kind of stuff. Well, it's like you said, it hasn't been done. So. Yeah, it, it really hasn't been done. There's lots of you know, there's lots of veteran stuff out there. Uh-huh. There is, with the exception of on base, you know, groups or whatever, there's no active duty military groups, really. Yeah. And there's definitely no, you know, pulley groups out there. It just doesn't <laughs> yeah. exist, you know, that's yeah. just not there. And so being able to tie those together is, is not anything. If it does exist, I'm not aware of it. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, at the end of the day, these pulleys are going to be your next yeah. big dudes in the military. Yep. And you don't know who it's going to be. It's, it's so crazy how much. I've thought about this a lot lately, like athletics, military, business, all of these like classifications are so much like each other, Mm -hmm. you know, like it's all like, who is it comprised of in sports? It's the team Mm -hmm. in the military. It's who's with you and then (laughs) in business. It's literally like, who are your employees? It's the same stuff. If you have these strong, like-minded people behind you, the possibilities are endless. And so if you can bring these strong, like-minded people to one location, to one social media page, website, whatever it is, where they can be like, here we are together. Mm -hmm. Here's what we can do together. Possibilities are endless. Oh, yeah. That's when the whole military, veteran, pulley, all that environment completely changes. And it becomes a a true community. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. That's very cool. So, obviously, this was a little quicker format. We just Mm -hmm. dove into the surface. We're a centimeter deep of a (laughs) mile-long pool. So, we have... Plenty more to talk about, and we will talk about. I want to keep going. I want to get a little bit more of, like, who is Ryan Nelson on a podcast, and then I want to get a little bit more of, like, as Tech Moto HQ keeps developing, mm-hmm. where are you going? Because the fun part about the beginning of a business or the beginning of anything is there's a hundred different yeah. reactions. So yeah. where that goes, how you can service your community and... Yep. Even the community outside of military will be huge because there's a lot to offer. And yeah. The well, I mean, thing- it branches into LEOs, your fire department. Like, a lot, of those, a lot of those guys are veterans. Yeah. And then inside, you know, that gives – it brings us access to – this. those are all brotherhoods too, you know. Yeah. So you branch into those guys. There's there's the same – a lot of those guys deal with the same issues that we deal with in the military. Yeah. So – you know, my, my brother-in-law is a, a firefighter in Bigsby. You know, we've got, I've got friends who are police officers. So there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff out there that's going to be yeah. big stuff. Yeah. The impact on those communities, then the impact that those communities can have on the rest. Cause that's one thing that like, it's hard to find more driven people than people in the military. And yeah. it's also hard to find people that think of loyalty people that think of brotherhood and all that stuff more than the military Mm -hmm. so taking all those qualities and then thinking about like okay if we can make a community of veterans where the struggles aren't what they yeah they're what they shouldn't be they shouldn't be what they are if Mm -hmm. we can take some of that away and create a community where veterans are out in the actual community outside of military as well like think about the things that could be done by veterans for the general community. Yeah. It, it would make the world so much better. It's crazy. And I, I, I'm, I'm guilty of this. Obviously, I say the brotherhood. But, you know, sisterhood, you know, a lot of, a lot of this stuff, you know, it's for the most part, it's a lot of dudes out there bringing it together, building the brotherhood. But, um, you know, I work in conjunction with several other, you know, veteran communities and things like that. And the female military community is even more so heavily underserved. You yeah. know, they, they are a part of the male groups, if you want to kind of put it yeah. to it, because a lot of that stuff, you know, just kind of just evolves that way. Uh-huh. But there's, I mean, there's lots of uh, female-oriented stuff out there. So I really want to, you know, stress any, you know, any female military out there. Like the sisterhood, you know, I, I definitely want that to be a part of it because, you know, a part of this community is learning how to help everybody. Yeah. And so, you know, if 
these guys are out here, you know, all the brotherhood or whatever, you also have to think about, you know, making sure that our sisters in arms and everything like that are, are getting just as much help and that we can help them succeed yeah. as much as possible also because they're even more so underserved than we are. That's awesome. I am <clears throat> pumped to see all of the barriers you break down with all of this and everything that you can build with this because it's going to be amazing. So like I said before, 9 a.m. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Don't be nervous. Don't be worried. Don't think, ah, I got better things to do because you don't. Come <laughs> in, join the community, and start building what, I mean, Everyone knows the, yeah. the more people you have, the more community you have, the Absolutely. bigger everything will be. Absolutely. You know, and you come, try, like you said, it's free the first time. Come try it out and then just bring everybody, anybody, whether you think they're in shape. It's, it's a class for, you know, the people who are ripped, killing it out and the people who have, you know, fallen off since they got out and things like that. That it's the no one in here is going to be, you know, fat shame and whatever, yeah. any of that kind of stuff. Like yeah. it's all about. It's it, you come back to the brotherhood and everybody's going to be picking you up no matter where yeah, you are. So it's, it's just invite anybody you can think of, show up, and we're going to have a great time and kill it. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Real quick plug areas where they can communicate with you directly. Um, we're on Facebook. Uh, Tacmoto HQ um, is our Facebook page. We have a private group. If you are interested in being a part of that private group, message me on Tacmoto HQ and Facebook, yeah. um, Takamoto, um, we're in the process of building the website out, takamotohq.com. Yeah. So all those things we got, obviously you can reach me through Pro Day as well. Yeah. Um, Email as well, r.nelson at yes. takamotohq.com. Correct. Literally anything you can think of, even if you're like, oh, this might not be directly tied to them, but it involves veterans in the community please reach out let ryan know how he can better serve everyone i mean at the end of the day the community will give the answers on what's needed and yeah absolutely uh, any feedback is much appreciated awesome well thank you ryan it was so good talking to you i'm glad we got to jump into this i'm excited to dive even more into future into who you are yeah. all that stuff it'll be sweet awesome thank you very much cool deal thank you all for listening to the pro day sports performance training podcast we will see you next time peace